What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, my park build for what's uh, been dubbed West World Theme Park. Uh, this is the third episode of this series. Uh, if you are one of the 30 subscribers on this channel, then you know that uh, I actually haven't uploaded as much as I was previously. Um, and that's just because uh, I have gone back to work. Um, the Because of the COVID-19, I wasn't working. And I had a lot of free time to uh, make videos on this channel. But uh, now that I'm back, I'm going to be kind of dialing it back to weekly uploads instead of every day. So... Here's my weekly upload for this week. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, uh, I think last episode, I think I talked about uh, making a... Um, I was going to make a giant ornate bridge over the water. And then I made a bridge over the water. And it was very standard, not ornate in any way at all. <laughs> um, so I kind of just was... I, put, I, I made a little bridge just over the water and then decided that I might come back to it later. Uh, and do something different but in the meantime I went ahead and uh, just wanted to go ahead and just get my first ride done I built a wooden coaster an articulated wooden coaster to be exact because <laughs> I'm fancy and uh, I just wanted to get a ride done I just built this wooden coaster that it ended up being pr I, I, I like the way it turned out um, the stats look pretty good uh, and I did some pretty decent terraforming, I think. I went ahead and I wanted to make this section of the park a little bit more sandy. And instead of like the wooden, woodland, mountainy type of area that is in the rest of the park so far, like the front area will kind of be this, uh, will be like a logging, mountainy sort of area. And then this will be sort of the sand dunes, um, cactusy western area of the park it's all western but uh, i think we've all learned if you've played red dead redemption then you know that uh the western part of of the u.s has different it's not all just desert so um that was news to me i live in america and i didn't know that but i went ahead and just built this sort of uh i went i built this wooden coaster and then used the station platform design that i've used a lot in the past and uh, I went ahead and uh, also used a name that I've used a lot in the past. I, I called this roller coaster Gold Rush because that seems appropriate for a uh, Western themed coaster. I think that seems appropriate. Gold Rush. And uh, I, I've named a lot of coasters that in the past and I just felt like it would be appropriate again. Sue me, I'm not super creative. Anyway, uh, the big thing in this was I was trying to kind of separate this ride from the rest of the park. So far, the rest of the park is very wooden, very much like uh, log, wood, pine trees, that kind of thing. And this one, I'm trying to make it more sand and uh, a little bit more rocky, you know, like that kind of vibe. We're making vibes out here. So that is pretty much what the station platform looks like. I've done it in the past. I think I did it in my last park even. I did a couple of them like that looked like this. But I just kind of did theming that was a little bit different. Uh, and I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I think it looks pretty good overall. I just kind of... Uh, especially the terraforming I was pretty happy with. We, I haven't gotten into that yet. But uh, in a minute here you'll see how the terraforming turned out. I think it looked pretty good for the most part. And... Uh, yeah, so the first thing was to add cactus, cacti? I think cacti. Uh, I threw some cacti in there and then just sort of started to do some terraforming. And the thing I've been trying to work on is usually when I do terraforming, I'm really bad about mixing up the, uh, the, the type of land, like the rock or grass or sand. Like, it's always the same. And this time I wanted to make sure that there was all types of material in the uh in this park or in this area of the park i should say so i just kind of use the um, land editing tool and use the one by one little tile and just kind of moved pieces up and down and tried to make it look a little bit natural and then i also use the mountain tool that i always use uh to kind of try and make it still look natural in other areas if it didn't that if i didn't um mess with the terrain with the one tile that it would still look natural and it wouldn't be flat so that's pretty much 
what I did there. But that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. I went ahead and just built this one ride. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys very much. Bye.